hey guys what's up all right today we'll be looking at how to get um, online resources inside your application all right so first let's get right into it so we'll be using an async task I apologize for the noise it's raining cats and dogs out here so um, I'll try my best to speak as loudly as possible anyways so simply start a new Android project and call it all right we're going to keep the name my application click next next again and we're starting from an empty activity as usual guys click next all right just leave that as main activity you can name it whatever you want but I like to name mine you know something like that all right so it's starting up all right so first things first while it builds the first thing you want to do is to go over to your rest folder you should be on your android view so we go over to which is if you wonder by the way is that little man over here right here green man that says android anyways <laughs> moving right along, right along click on res go to layout and all right we're getting rid of this hello world okay so I just deleted mine we can add a text that says let's just say the great all right let's just say the greatest pick ever all right that's an understatement it's actually better than that okay I think that's spelled right and then let's just add a image view so hold that image view throw it over there it's not going to show up but it's going to show up over there in your component tree so just double click on it and just scroll down if it and just change the the ID of it and let's just call this pick one let's give it a simple name pick one so the ID of this thing is pick one all right so let's go back to our Android class or oh, our sorry our Java class and right in our uncreate we're going to be doing amazing stuff so anyway above our uncreate but in our same class let's just make some references really so let's just do an image view image view and let's just call this I am one and let's do a next one let's call that bit map and let's call this bit and that's that okay pretty much now let's make a reference to our image view inside our on create so let's just say I am one equals open braces image view find by ID r dot ID and that's important because we want it to know where the actual image is located in our layout and that's pick one because that's the name that we gave to our image okay now this is where the magic really comes in guys before the last brace in your class just make some space so there should be just one curly brace the last curly brace before that we're going to type this in that space public class and let's call mine do it one word extends capital A async task and let's just open the and type void and void again and you guessed it void again and let's put a open and ending curly so if you did it correctly you should see a red line under it so just click on anywhere on that red line you should see a red a red um, light bulb pop up just click on that red light bulb it will say implement methods click on that you should see a window like mine pop up that says do in back background just click on that and say okay 
wow look there's a method written right there for you which is doing background so just make some space before it and then this is where the magic comes in type the bitmap so type bit equals and we already have some ready-made code so let's copy and paste that in uh, to save some time so that bit equal bitmap factory dot decode stream open braces open brace input stream end brace new new url and let's write in the url for the image we want so the image that we're going to choose is from imdb and that's captain america captain america civil war poster so just to use that you just click if you're using chrome copy image address and you just do that and go back to our code and let's just add that in okay as simple as that you see a red line around it and that means that it's it shows an error and we need to catch it so let's say try open brace and end brace after that and let's put catch give the catch an argument of exception you have to catch the exception guys else your code will probably crash and the application won't work and let's just say e dot print stack trace this why i'm rushing through this part is because this is something you'll probably know from android anyway all right so before so after return null then before the end of this class we minim we bring down the La, the second to last curly brace and then we're going to write another method so let's just say public or should it be it should be protected void on post execute so we have super on post execute that is written right there but now let's just update our image so let's just say i am one which is my image set bitmap and let's pass in that image which is bit which is bit that's what i had and save and we're almost done guys but what we need to do now is to put in our android manifest so let's go back to our android manifest and add internet permissions so let's put that in to add internet permission just simply press the i think that's less than <laughs> and put uses permission android name android permission internet and close it and that should be it hold on not closed and let's close it here there you go and save all right let's just see how well it runs all right let me bring up my emulator that you guys can see it all right all right it takes a little time to come up we're waiting on it and pretty much you use the async task to make life way simpler that your application doesn't crash while you're accessing an external resource from the internet all right so our application should be loaded it says the greatest pick ever we're waiting on it still waiting on that great pick to appear oh guys oh my lord i forgot something there's one last thing we should have put in let's go back to our uncreate i can't believe i forgot this and right under the image let's put the name of this class let's do it so let's put new do it or whatever your class is name empty brace dot execute and without this it won't execute 
Now let's launch it again. We should have no problems now. And there it is. It's a tiny picture, but it does show up. And that's the greatest picture ever. It's very tiny. You can adjust it to the, 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 the height and width you want inside your layout. But pretty much that's how you, ex you access an external resource from the internet without crashing your application using async task. Alright, I hope that's been easy for you to understand. I hope it wasn't stressing. I hope it wasn't a whole ton of code. Like if you like and comment. And thanks for watching guys.